Yo, what's going on people and welcome back to the channel. This week I'm going to be showing you a plugin that I found that's good for vocals and making vintage samples like Nami and Coop the Truth. So yeah, if you're not followed or subscribed to my YouTube, you know, down below, do that stuff and then we'll get right into this video. So let's go. So the first thing I started with, as usual, is just some chords. Nothing too amazing, just simple uh, minor ninths and sevenths. And I used the Whirly preset, I think it's called a light compressed phase. It, it was quite gritty, like a distorted type of piano. And then on that I used a cassette, slight reverb just to make it not as big and wild. And then took out some lows as usual. And then I panned that one to the right. Then next we had this piano that just followed the same chords, it sounds like this. So obviously with the piano way to make it like more vintage, so I added the verb well control on it just to give it that uh, vinyl effect. And then I took out some lows and just boosted it like 3000 just because I thought it was not as present and it needed to just be a little bit more above the electric piano. Then I panned that one to the left. And then next I wanted to make a, another piano, like an electric piano, but I wanted to give it like a downfall in piano roll effect. So it sounds like this. And as you can see, it's quite low in velocity. So I just wanted to do that just to make it sit in the background. That's just subtle, just to give it like a uh, like a vintage, sad sort of vibe. And then, yeah, again, quite heavy in reverb this time because I wanted to make it quite bright and just big in the background. And then obviously a delay and then took out some lows and highs. I made that a little bit more mono because I felt like it was just too wide where I had the wide reverb on. So if I brought it a little bit mono, it just fits in perfectly and then next i want to talk about is the bass bass was pretty simple and just looks like this i just followed the chords of the root notes of the chords of uh, the piano the effects i used on the bass was just took out some little mud and just a bit that was just too bassy and too much sub in it so i just took that off and then next i use this mellotron that sounds like this just to be the high notes of the chords and then with that i took out the low high 600 hertz i put a room on it just because i wanted to make it like a chamber effect it's very high and very high mix and then I just took it loads of the lows and highs out. And then with that, I routed it to a second channel. I put a half time on it just because it gives a slow effect in the repeating. It's like a delay sort of thing, but it repeats, but slower. Then another delay and a flanger delay just to give it a cool vibe and texture. And then I took out lots of highs. And then with that, I just brought it down in the levels and panned it to the right, whereas that was the left, just to give it a little cool vibe. Then next I added this brass analog sound that sounds like this. And as you notice there's a higher like delayed version in the background. That's through automation. I did like a bit crusher shaper box and then a plate just make it very like dense in reverb. And then took out lots of lows and highs. And then obviously as I said I had this panned like guitar delay on it. And now for the vocals, this is where I'll show you the plugins and stuff that I've been using. It gives it a cool texture. So it sounds like this. So I recorded my vocals with auto-tune on and I added this cool texture, like a sine wave and the rate up, it like holds the note but gives it like a wavy effect. I'm not really sure what it does, but it sounds pretty cool. And then I'll show you it dry. Hold on. 
yeah, as you can see, like it gives it like sound like a goat. But and then for these vocals, I compressed it because the next plugin I show is gonna be loud. So I use this Evox hum pad, and as you like, use Alterboy to to change the form, and it does it twice, but it turns it into like a synthesized pad. It sounds pretty cool. That gives it the texture, and then obviously a plate to give it like an airy pad sort of feel. Lows and highs, delay, just to pan it left and right a little bit. And then I wanted to make it a little bit worse in quality, so I gave it a lossy effect, a chorus to just make it a little bit thicker. And then just took out around 350, just because I thought it was clashing with the bass a little bit. And then next, I'll show you all the percussion I used. The percussion I used is pretty just simple. It sounds like this. So with most of that, I put this OTT just to take out the highs and then just took out lots of highs and then a delay just to give it that little cool effect. Then lastly, I want to touch on this piano roll. So I reversed it so it sounds like this. And then with that, I just put it in the second effect rack. And this is how all the sample sounds together. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole sample. I think I did a good job. It sounds pretty sick, to be fair. Just gives it cool textures. So if you've got any ideas, you know, just send me a, shoot me a message on Instagram. Any ideas for videos, you can follow me on there. It'll be on the screen. But hopefully you like this, and hopefully you learn something new and use that plugin. That plugin can be really cool. So yeah, thanks guys. Peace out.